Hello, my name is Fiona Stanton from Fleet's Papercraft. Today I'm showing you one of the cards from the March 2021 Craft in the Box class. This is using the handsomely uh, suited suite. Um, this is the first card we're going to be doing. Now I have made some changes. Um, the, in my original card there's three layers inside and it's too heavy. So I'm just going to use the one layer. Uh, I'm not going to use DSP or the, or the navy. Because um, obviously you've got three layers on the outside as well. So it was too heavy like that. So we're just going to reduce that down. Now I did film this, but my camera wasn't on. So I want to show you how I do the pop-up element. So this is a piece of Knight of Navy cardstock, which is representing this white piece here. And you're just going to fold it in half at four inches, because it's eight inches wide. So you just fold it in half on your scoreboard. And then what you need to do on your scoreboard is um, score a triangle. And that's the folded edge. So it's onto the folded edge, butted onto the folded edge. So you're just going to score a line down there. Now I did say you can make it, you know, roughly half and half. So halfway across here, halfway down there. Then obviously you need to reverse it and score on the other side. You need to make sure the score is on both sides. Um, it doesn't matter how big that triangle is, as long as whatever element you're going to put on there will fit comfortably and you're happy with it. Um, so you could do a small triangle, you could do even bigger triangles. So once you've got it like that, now obviously mine's going to pop quite easily because I've I've just done it. Um, but what you want to do is pop the triangles up. So you just fold those triangles and it would form. So you've got that pop-up element there. Okay, so that's a valley fold. These are valley folds and then that central triangular section is a mountain fold. And it'll fold together like that. So to put it into the card, what we're going to do, you want to make sure you don't put any glue on these triangular sections here. No glue there. You can put glue everywhere else, but no glue there. So I'm just going to start, put some glue on here. And I'm just actually going to fold it like that. And then line it up where you want it to be. That's a little bit too away from there. You want to try and get it, you know, central, central. And straight is always helpful. She says making a complete pixie of this. There we go. I'm not going too far, but anyway. That's not glued down yet. Right. So I've made a mess of that, but well, never mind. Never mind, we'll ignore that. I think for some reason my bits in the middle is not folded very well. But hey ho. And we're just going to close that up. And people aren't going to notice that bit. Because they're going to notice this bit that pops out and that's the pop-out element in the middle okay let me just move that back a bit so you can see that's that bit so all we're going to do now is try and Okay, first of all, I'm going to stamp my greeting on here. So I've got some Cajun Jays ink, because that matches the cardstock. And we're going to have the world's greatest dad in there. So I can go on my block. So I think the thing that we learnt there is make sure your folds are done properly. Because uh, once you start sticking down, everything gets a bit difficult to move around once you've already got things scored. Just glue that. So that's the bit that goes in the middle. That's our middle sentiment. There we go. And then we've got these bows that I have cut out and they come 
with knots as well so you could do the knots with different colored cardstock if you wanted to i haven't i've just kind of slightly moved the um pattern so you can tell that it is a knot so just layer those up i mean the dsp for the handsomely suited um suite is quite funky <laughs> so, apparently it came from um, the patterns came from actual shirts from one of the um, employees at Stamping Up. So there you go. I didn't need to put that much glue on that. And then you just add these on. Don't put as much glue as I did, um, otherwise it's going to cause havoc. You don't need to put glue on kind of sections oh that's okay push that down to dry okay so that's our pop-up bit and obviously you could change it to anything you change it to butterflies um anything you want to right so now we've got this <laughs> so yeah i'm not too sure how old this employee was so he must have had some very um funky shirts that's what i'm gonna say i can't layer anything up straight today but we know that's me that's that's me all together really good okay a little bit more stamping to do You are the best. So this could be a Father's Day card, it could be a birthday card, it could be just a thank you card, really. It's got some quite nice sentiments in there. Um, so what I'm going to do first is layer up these so these are the stitched rectangles I've just got a couple to layer up and then we'll wrap some tying twine around it now with a stitch with any stitch frame just make sure you've got them uh the right way around there is a difference between kind of the back side and the front side of a stitch die so we've got this twine so this is a well suited twine combo I'm going to use grey, but you could use whatever. You could use the blue or the grey, really. It doesn't really make any difference. So we just use that with a little bit of tape on the back. So you'll get everything die cut to size and, or cut to size. And what I don't send out is stamped images and glue, because everybody likes their own, has their own preference about what glue they like to use, really. Um, and that's why I don't send out glue. Uh, but stamped images is um, it's stamping up policy. I can't send out uh, stamped images. So you could just um, use whatever stamps you have, or you could purchase the bundle. Okay, so here's the rather funky tie. Put that on there. Put that on dimensionals to go over there. I do have some small ones somewhere, but I'll probably just cut this in half. That's easier. No, I just sit a bit proud of the card. Right, so before you glue everything down, just make sure you've got things laid where you want them to be. There we go. Yeah, 
didn't start my greeting straight, did I? It's a funky greeting to go with the funky card. I'm not having a very good day at getting everything straight, to be honest. It's going to be a bit of a skewy day. Right, there you go. So that's the original card we made. And that is a lot lighter now. It's still pretty heavy. It's not one you might want to send in the post. But that's a lot better now, just to sit much simplified inside. Obviously, you'll do a better job of giving it straight, because that does help. And if you're doing simple, you have to get it right. And that is that card there. Okay, thank you very much. My name's been Fiona Stanton.